Okay, everybody, this is Sean B. Bradley, uh, and uh, I'm here at Automotive Internet Sales, and I want to talk about HR. I want to talk about automotive internet sales appointment setters, automotive internet sales coordinators, and uh, I got a special guest. Vicki, just say hello. Hello, everybody. Okay, good. So what we're doing is Vicki is the internet director at a very prestigious uh, dealer group, which will remain secret, and we're just going to talk about some, some ideas. Uh, about the HR. So I want to just show something here. You know, um, you, this is a version of a pay plan. So this is right here, automotive internet sales. Okay, so this is Automotive Internet Sales Coordinator. That's the title that we give, um, you know, our clients. Let's turn around and do it this way. Let's center this. Uh, Automotive Internet Sales Coordinator, BDC Rep, you know, Appointment Center Pay Plan. Um, I'm going to actually do it this way. Uh, let's play with it this way. That's good enough for me. So first and foremost, Vicky, you know what I mean? This is the official title that I give these people. They're, and I don't mean these people. I mean like this, these, this is the position. Dealerships call them different things. They call them BDC reps. Um, you know, they call them appointment setter. They call them, you know, whatever. I like to call them an automotive internet sales coordinator because they really are a sales coordinator. And um, what we got to remember in when, we, when we're articulating the pay plan is this, is that this is a sales position. Okay, first and foremost, this is a sales position, not customer service. A lot of times, you know, internet directors, internet managers, you know, dealer principals, GMs, uh, misconstrue this. They think that this is a customer service position just because they're not doing a product presentation, they're not doing a demo drive, they're not selling the actual car. They think, oh, then if they're not selling a car, then this must be a support position or it's a customer service position. That is 100% incorrect. Okay, this is a sales position. They are selling. The, they're selling the appointment. You know, and with that. They're going to have the road to the appointment process. So just like a sales consultant on the floor is going to have a road to the sale process, these individuals are going to have a road to the appointment process. They're going to learn how to qualify a prospect, how to identify prospects, wants, wishes, needs, and expectations. They will have 25, 25. Okay, so again, they're going to have 25 word tracks to 35 word tracks in here. So again, they'll be empowered with the road to the appointment, a outbound phone call process, then inbound. Okay, so these people are going to have a road to the appointment process, which is going to be basically um, an outbound and inbound phone call process. They're going to understand how to qualify a prospect, how to identify a prospect's wants, wishes, needs, and expectations. They will have 25 to 35 minimum word tracks in their arsenal, objections, rebuttals, as well as what ifs. 
What if this happens? What if that happens? What if this happens? What if that happens? They're also going to have, you know, um, a complete time. a complete time management organization strategy. You there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the automotive and sales coordinators, they're going to be trained with a road to the appointment process, outbound, inbound, phone call process, how to qualify a prospect, identifying a prospect's wants, wishes, needs, and expectations. They will have 25 to 35 minimum word tracks in their arsenal, objections and rebuttals, as well as what ifs, a complete time management organization strategy, a complete forecasting strategy, which is in our system, the dealer synergy system called the three minute book. On top of all of this, all right, you ready? <clears throat> they will need to have a thorough understanding of third party providers, information sites like. So when we go to Evans.com, KB.com, AutoBytel.com, CarsDirect.com, Delix.com, you know, um, you know, and so on and so on and so on. They need to know these inside and out. They need to have thorough knowledge of, you know, uh, their products. They do not Love you. <laughs> Why? What you're typing right now. <laughs> Extreme knowledge of the dealership CRM. This is one of the most important aspects of the job. Am I right or wrong? Absolutely. So if you if you take a look at this, this is some serious stuff. Okay. So when when you ask me, you know, do we have overqualified people? I, I don't think so. See the problem, Vicky, that I'm seeing is that a lot of dealerships they think that the Internet Appointment Center is, is just some secretary, somebody that could turn around and when they're not, you know, pounding the phones trying to make appointments for the dealership, they could go get coffee, go get lunch, and do all this other crazy stuff. That's not the case. That is absolutely right. not the case. You and then when I tell my, yeah, I tell my new, my prayer manager that my people know his inventory better than the salespeople, and I would put them head to head against them. He just kind of looks at me like I'm crazy, but I'm 100% true. Um, you are 100% accurate. And again, I didn't even get the pay plan yet, but the reason why I did this, I know the title says pay plan, but I wanted to build value on why we're going to pay these people what we're going to pay them. Okay? So this is this is a lot. And, and I can even flush this out. This is just a quick little, you know, tip or help of, of advice. But... My vision of an automotive internet sales coordinator or a BDC rep or an appointment center, they're going to be tasked to make and take phone calls. All right? Here's what we want them to do. Well, 
I'm going to, I'm going to actually back into this a different way. I'm going to talk about the pay plan. So what I'll do is let's just play this, Vicky. Let's just pretend you're an appointment setter. I'm your internet sales manager, right? So I'm going to say something like this, Vicky. How much money do you want to make in a month? Legitimately, that you could actually make, not something crazy. But what would you like to earn? Uh, two grand. Well, Vicky. I, I know you, you know, for a short amount of time, but you seem like a sharp woman to me, and I think you're worth more than that. Would you like me to show you how you could earn three thousand dollars income in this position? Absolutely. Absolutely. freaking lutely Is that correct, Vicky? I yes, you got it. So watch. I'm going to type. I'm going to put three thousand dollars right here. I'm going to make it really big, just so that's here. Okay, and I'm going to make it red, just for there, just so that's the goal, right? Then I'm going to drop back down to 18 point, and it's going to be in black. And then we're going to just go here. I got to switch fonts real quick. Okay, so now, how are we going to do this? Simple. Okay, what we're going to focus on is you're going to have $400 a week salary. For example, right? I'm just going to use it. This is a formula. So you could change this if it's 350, 375. It doesn't matter. But four hundred dollars a week salary, you know, times four weeks equals sixteen hundred dollars um, in, you know, per per month. Is that correct, Vicky? Does that math pencil out? That's, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. So then, basically, what? Um, so we need to earn commissions to but what do I still need to earn in commissions to meet my three thousand dollar goal? That's gonna be fourteen hundred bucks, am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so then then the question is how am I going to earn it? Okay, well the question is how are you going to just do it this way. The question is then how am I going to earn it? I'll leave the grammar there. It's fine. So the, the, again, you have to know, but before before you can really answer this, you need to know what your what is your commission plan? Okay, so I would say, in in our case, it is going to be. You know, it's going to be one dollar for an appointment. Fifteen dollars for shows. Twenty-five dollars for. Forty-one dollars. So now that we got that, now watch this. Here's the formula. We turn on take a hundred. I'm going to do this big. I'll just do this right. A hundred fifty twenty-five So now if we turn on and do it this way. I'm just going to just going to make it really big. So a hundred a hundred. Appointments made, 50 show, 25 deliveries. So now what we're going to do here, just so we're seeing this, right, is that if you take 100 times $1 equals $100 in commissions, then you're going to take, obviously, 50 times 15 is 750. So you're making 750 right here, and then you take 25 times 25 equals 625. You know, for a total of 
$1,475. So does that make sense what I'm saying here? Absolutely. So now this gives me $75 cushion. So that means if I don't have exactly 100 appointments or 50 shows or exactly 25 deliveries, it's got a little, you know, cushion. But basically, if you take the 1475, you know, 1475 plus your your salary or base is 3075. Do you see that? Yep. So now again, when we're working a pay plan, you want your people to want to earn between two thousand and three thousand dollars in a month. Here's the reality, you know, Vicky, is that if they're going to make sixteen hundred dollars in a month, and all they're hoping for is four hundred dollars in in freaking commission in in a month, then you know what I mean. Then why are they going to work hard? Why are they going to try to make this many appointments or like that? Because they're going to be complacent with mediocrity. This might sound harsh, but it is what it is. You cannot just hire people that are going to be complacent and, and happy with the freaking $1,600 a month salary. You need somebody that's going to want to understand that literally about half or more than half of their compensation is going to be tied to uh, their commissions. This is, you know, not I get $1,600 as my pay and I get a little bit of uh, punk bonuses that I might be able to make, you know, 2000 or 2100 they need to desperately want to be able to make, you know, three thousand dollars or thirty-five hundred dollars a month. D does that make sense? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. This is in the, now. Let's now. This pay plan is awesome because it tells you how. Or actually, strike that. It says what you need to do. It doesn't show you how. That's the best way to say it. It basically says if I'm if you're just a brand new coordinator, I'm saying, Vicky, here's what you need to do to earn a living. Okay, uh, to earn your three thousand dollars a month. You know, and three thousand dollars times twelve months. That's still thirty six thousand dollars a year. That's not a bad living. Being an appointment setter or an automotive internet sales coordinator or BDC rep at a dealership. That is a very respectable living for making phone calls and appointments. I I think. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. So now watch. So if you turn and take a look at this, if you make um, four hundred dollars a week for four weeks at six hundred dollars in a month, and then what's your goal? Is three thousand. So that means you need to earn fourteen hundred. What do you need to do? Well, based on the pay plan of a dollar fifteen and twenty five, you know, and there's about a fifty 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 ratio. You know, about a hundred appointments means you know fifty bodies are going to show up. Out of fifty bodies, twenty five, you know, approximately will buy vehicles. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Well, now this pencils out the financial, but let's go into this. This is going to be really cool if you watch this. So if you turn and you take, it's basically 100 appointments equals, you know, um, 100 appointments. Let me just put this way. 100 appointments equals approximately $3,000 per month. Is that an accurate statement based on what I showed? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so then check this out. You take, and this is what gets really awesome, 100 appointments divided by, 100 appointments divided by four weeks equals 25 appointments per week divided by five working days equals five appointments per day. Isn't that cool? That is very cool. So it basically, you know, this is how we're going to work to train your people is that, okay, so we have the pay plan and we have the logic to the pay plan. And then when you turn on and you go into this again, I mean, it's pretty significant. You know, it's at the bottom line, 100 appointments a week divided by four weeks equals, you know, 25 appointments per week divided by five working days equals five appointments per day. Now watch this. Now, if they... You know, they need to make or take 120 calls per day. They need to make or take 120 calls per day. Why? Because you will only connect with about 11 to 14 percent on the phones. So, 
120 calls per day will result in um, in 11 to 14 percent connections, which equals okay, which equals roughly about four to six appointments per day, or five. Do you see how the the math works out? Mm -hmm. This is legit. Yeah. If you make mm -hmm. or take 120 calls in a day, you will connect with about 11 to 14 percent, which is roughly about four to six appointments a day, uh, or what's in the middle of four to six, five. So I've just created a thorough pay plan inside and out, inside and out. Do you agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So now, but let's let's just let's check this. I'm just going to show you a couple things here. This is what our average coordinators do. Average, not above average, average. And then I'm going to show you an above average. So look at this. Okay, so this is a single point Chevy dealership. They're doing over 100 internet deals a month. But they have, you know, a coordinator here. If you take a look at her, this is legitimate. You know, we help with the recruiting, screening, and hiring of her, right? And look at this. This woman, only two months in the business, we recruited her, we hired her. She now, you know, is averaging 80 appointments set, 40 shows, and 22 deliveries. She did this after only 60 days. 80 appointments set, 40 shows, 22 deliveries. What's the bad part? That's freaking awesome. Now, let's see if this makes sense. Okay, so now let's go back. So Jennifer Brown is one of five of these coordinators. This is a dealership that was featured in Auto Dealer Monthly Magazine, okay, in September. And let's go through this. You know, they have five coordinators times 120 calls in a day is 600 calls a day they do times five working days is 3,000 phone calls a week times 4.3 weeks in a month is 12,900 phone calls times point, you know, let's just do um, a 12% connection ratio is 1,548 at a 12% connection ratio you know, times 0.25 appointment made ratio, 387 appointments times 0.55, the 55% show ratio is 212 times 0.45 selling ratio is 95 units. Do you see how I just penciled back how five mm -hmm. appointment setters follow in that exact system? That's why the single point Chevy dealership in Indiana is able to do that. Is that pretty crazy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. You got one even better. Ready for this? This is one of our top ones. This is. Oh, yeah, you showed me this guy. He's he's off the wall. He is absolutely off the wall. This one appointment setter is the best one in the country I've ever seen. This store is doing 142 appointments, right? I mean, sorry, 142 deliveries. They're selling 142 deliveries at a single point Honda dealership in Ohio. This one appointment setter, you know, in the month of November, like he did 2,892 calls. I mean, again, if you take 2,000, I'm doing the calculator, 2,892 divided by, let's just say, 22 working days. That's 131.4 calls a day. Do you see that? 131, you know, uh, phone calls per day. Now, if you take the 2,892 times 0.14, a 14% connection ratio would have been at a 404. He's got 640. So the guy is like, you know, he's in, it's crazy. He is is literally um, over a 22% connection ratio. It's nuts. And then he's got 201 people that, that he um, actually made appointments with. So out of the 640, you know, the guy has, you know, you know between 25 and 33. He's got probably about a, a 30%, you know, appointment, you know, made ratio. And then his shows out of 201 appointments made times, you know, point, you know he's got literally about a 65% appointment show ratio. And then selling, my God, it's almost at a <laughs> at a fifty percent. Yeah, they have good sellers. Good yeah, closers. you know, um, you know, it's over fifty percent, I should say. So my point being here is that do you see how the numbers work out? You know, again, this guy is is an anomaly, but he this is just one person. I know stores that have three people that don't do seventy six cars in a department, but this guy is 
He's like the equivalent of, of a 30, 40 car salesperson on the floor, but for the internet or BDC. But the point being is this is how this works, is that you want appointment setters that are going to be compensated at this level because you don't want McDonald's type employees. You don't want, you know, people that are, are not professional driven that don't want to make thirty, forty thousand dollars a year. I mean that guy that you just saw, he makes almost fifty thousand dollars a year to make an appointment. It's insane. Insane. Mm -hmm. You know, um, matter of fact, let's just take a look at it because I just it just blows my mind. I just want to just do the math on that system. And this dealership is happy to pay it. This guy right here that we just saw Let's just do the math. He makes obviously sixteen hundred in salary, but let's see what he makes. Um, you know, obviously in in here for appointments, for two hundred and one appointments, two hundred and one appointments is two hundred one dollars. But a hundred and thirty four times fifteen, okay, that's two thousand ten dollars. Okay, two thousand ten dollars, and then seventy six times twenty five, okay, that's nineteen hundred plus two thousand and ten dollars plus we've got you know oh is it two hundred and one dollars so he made four thousand one hundred eleven dollars in commissions plus oh, wow you know plus you turn it yeah, into yeah. sixteen hundred dollars yeah. right there this guy made fifty seven hundred dollars now he doesn't do this every single month but he probably makes about five thousand dollars a month so five times twelve I'm sorry the guy makes close to sixty thousand dollars a year as an appointment setter. Again, that's me saying to a bunch of salespeople, okay, we've got a person that, you know, that sells 40 cars and he makes $200,000 a year. That's not normal. So I don't want everybody to get excited and think that they're going to make $60,000, you know, a year making appointments, but I damn sure am uh, I'm firm in saying that you can make 30 and $40,000 a year if you hustle. If you know your outbound phone call process, your inbound phone call process, your objections, your rebuttals, how to qualify a prospect, identify their wants, wishes, expectations, how to meet them, and how to exceed them. Understanding the third-party providers, understanding your website, and especially understanding your CRM. Vicki, what do you think about all this information you just received in the last couple of minutes? I think it's really, it's, it's really eye-opening. And, you know, for me, it's great, but then I have to go back and think, you know, what do I have to do so that my people can earn this, meaning, you know, third-party lead providers, all that kind of stuff. You know, with what we're doing now, this isn't possible. What do you mean? So I, well, because, we, I mean, I only have 250 Internet leads a month. Well, the whole purpose of, the, of this whole thing is that, um, unless I'm misunderstanding, is that you guys want to grow your internet department. Your general manager said he wants to net increase 35 units. To net increase 35, net increase guaranteed, you need to probably sell 40, <clears throat> you know, uh, 45 to 50 total deals additional out of your internet department. Because with the residual flow factor and the fact that you know the average prospect has 18 different influential points. The fact that the average internet prospect is searching five to eight other dealerships and websites. Long story short, you need to get more leads. There's no way in hell, you know, your organization, you know, as the Buick GMC Cadillac, you know, is not. There's no way you're going to sell an extra 50 deals a month to net to have a true net increase of 35 net units. There's no way that's going to happen unless you increase your leads. So if you and that's why you're talking about possibly getting more you know, human resources to help your department. Do you see this is part of the, the cause and effect? You know, for this to actually work, you need leads and you need qualified people. So I agree with you. Maybe as it is right now, you're right, you couldn't do this. But also, as if you try to look at this right now, you're nowhere in hell going to be able to secure 35 net more deals. Am I correct? Absolutely. So we're going to assume that your dealer really wants to net increase 35 more cars. And if your dealer really wants to net increase 35 more cars, he's going to need to, you know, increase the leads and also, you know, hire additional people. If you do that, I promise you, you'll be able to do this. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, no, no doubt in my mind either. Okay, good. So um, this little impromptu web session, I just wanted to um, give you some really good information, but also... I wanted to give the community of automotive internet sales a little bit of insight as far as the human resources for the internet department. You know, so I'm going to stop recording right here.